Yo Long Hairs, thanks for coming by my place to check out my routine. In this video, we're gonna be talking through some foundational truths of every hair care routine, things like detangling, washing, hydrating, and trimming, as well as taking a deep step-by-step -step dive into my hair care routine. But before we get into that, not every guy needs to be a hair expert, but there's a few things that every guy with long hair needs to know. And you can get all that stuff with quick tips. So head on over to thelonghairs.us, hit the tips button in our top navigation and sign up for quick tips and you might just get a 20% off discount just for signing up. So the routine, it all starts with a good brushing. So I'm gonna meet you in the bathroom and start there. All right, we've landed in the bathroom and we're gonna talk about brushing, which leads us to our first foundational truth of hair care in my opinion, which is detangling. You want to detangle, you don't want tangles. Uh, if you're a curly haired guy, you probably don't want to brush. You probably want to finger comb. Brushing can cause frizz, you know, for the, especially for, cur for curly haired guys, kinky haired guys, wavy hair, you probably, you know, could get away with a, a wide tooth brush, uh, not get too frizzy, and, uh, but that's, you know, what hydrating is for really. So, brushing, usually do this every day. Um, and on wash days, I make sure I get my scalp really good. I find that it helps remove some of the already dead hair that uh, may have you know, died, fallen out while I was sleeping um, or throughout the day if I'm showering at night. And that prevents all that stuff from going down the drain. Now, if you are brushing on a non-wash day, which I do, like I said, every day, uh, it was really great scalp massage and helps remove some of those oils that your scalp is producing uh, during your wash normal cycle, you know, five days if we're following my routine, um, it will spread those oils from your scalp down the hair shaft and help prevent clogged pores. Clogged pores stunt hair growth and we want maximum hair growth. So with that, I'm all brushed out. I'm gonna move on to shampooing and conditioning. First step, obviously, get the hair wet. Okay. So I'm gonna take like, like three pumps of shampoo. And spread it between both hands and then go mostly sticking on the top here. Top layer, you know, I'm gonna work it in a little bit, but I always go back for a second one because our shampoo is sulfate free. It doesn't have that like mega lather. You know, you usually get with drugstore stuff, suave or, you know, whatever, fill in the blank. So I'll usually do a first little preliminary wash here um, just to get like that top layer of grime off and shampoo uh, the oils away and then I'll rinse that we're going for the second time and I really only shampoo the scalp and the roots and I'll come back with like four more pumps now so we're seven total and this one is the one I'll really work in to the roots and the scalp. Really getting underneath there. Just massaging gently but vigorously. And again, I don't really get, I don't really get the lengths. I don't really get the ends. You know, the, the shampoo kind of the oils really build up at the scalp. Uh, and then you'd also, you don't really need to shampoo the rest of your hair. You know, it's kind of a waste of shampoo. All that stuff is much, you know, usually at the roots and scalp. And you're gonna be rinsing all that stuff out through the ends when you go to rinse. So, I've got my second sort of shampoo going here. And rinse that out. You know, pay a little attention to the lengths as I rinse. You know, make sure I get some love on these guys. Oh. All right, so for conditioning, usually what I like to do is whip my hair forward. And get right there, let the water sort of get it all going one direction. And I kind of bunch it up in one little, one little clump here. 
kind of throw it off to the side. And then we go for the, the condition. Now, if you're if you got really oily hair, you may want to skip the skip the conditioner, um, and definitely avoid your scalp. You know, unless you're an extra dry scalp, maybe you do want to go closer to the scalp. But I'll do about five to seven pumps of the conditioner because of my hair length and also to keep it even with my shampoo because I'm a little OCD like that. So now I'll bring this stuff back to the front. You know, work it between both hands and really make sure I'm getting it from between my fingers. Yeah, and I'm not coming up here really. I'm just, the lengths are really what I want. Really work that in. Yeah. Squeeze a little bit. Get it in there on the ends for sure. That'll get the driest. This is the oldest. This hair is three years old. Still going. It needs, it needs to look. All right, now I'm there. I'm gonna gently twist it up. Gently, 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 gently. And just let it sit right on top of your head, just like that. And then with the uh, extra conditioner, I'm gonna rub it in the beard. And then, I move on to washing the rest of my body. All right, body's been washed. Conditioner has been sitting for, I don't know, five minutes, five, 10-ish minutes. Uh, so we're gonna gently pull you know, the twist out and rinse. Uh, and again, you oily hair guys, you may wanna skip it. All right. Now that I've made sure you're not going to see anything you don't need to, I'm going to drying, and this is towel drying, uh, just a light, light dry, well, uh, just to get like the majority of the moisture out. So what I do is I whip forward, and again, I'm going to not twist my hair, but gently, so I can turn here, just envelope the hair. I rub it all in there, and just gently squeeze it, you know. You don't need to, no twisting, no torquing. You don't want any of that. Just kind of get a majority of the stuff out. Get your scalp to dry the roots a bit. All right. So now we're dry, but not quite soaking. You know, or rather, we're we're, we're damp, but not quite soaking. So. Now we're gonna hydrate. And this is where you guys, who may have an oily scalp type who skipped the, um, the conditioner, you guys will be rejoining us here. Start with a, a gentle detangle of the tips. And I don't have a particularly oily hair or scalp type, so I like to use the uh, hair serum and leave-in conditioner. So, let's see, oh man. Do I have, I got the old bottles. I don't even have the new, new yet, man. Shoot, we got new, brand new aluminum bottles that are really sexy. Um, so a little bit like dime, just a dime size on your fingertips. I'm gonna work it into both hands and you're going to finger comb it into the tips for maybe five inches up. You know, just making sure that you get a good base layer on that old, sometimes crusty ends and we're good and now we move on to the leave-in conditioner you'll notice some hair coming out as you uh, finger comb to it it's totally normal just be gentle you know you don't want to overdo it this i do have the new stuff so hydroflow for me, I don't, you know, obviously look at my hair when it's wet, it doesn't look like I have a ton of hair. So I usually use one pump, maybe one and a half. Uh, if you guys got more fuller hair, you got thicker hair, you maybe use two, maybe even three. Um, and for this stuff, uh, I will start at, um, you know, you've done the ends, I'll kind of come from mid length right here and work down. And so kind of covering up that layer of serum and as the hair dries, those cuticles are gonna close and lock in that moisture. So, one pump, plenty for me. Come up to the mid-length and start gently 
finger combing through the links down to the ends flip to the other side and we're covered so if you've skipped the condition because you've got uh, an oilier scalp uh, you may want to skip the leave-in conditioner and just go with the hair serum if you've got really dry scalp Maybe you'll do all three, like I do. I've got a pretty average scalp, but I just like knowing I've got that extra layer, you know, of, um, of hydration in there, especially because I like to use sea salt spray. Um, and so here, you know, you can stop here and let it air dry, or you could go on and blow dry and, um, and brush it out for kind of a more sleek, shiny look. Um, but if you were going to stop here and just let this air dry and not use any sea salt spray and you wanted to get a little, you know, maybe a little texture as it dries, just kind of bunch it up, bunch it up into your hand and scrunch it, bunch it and scrunch it, scrunch it up. So we could move straight on to sea salt spray, which is the next step in my routine because I'm going to be going for kind of a more sort of beachy, um, you know, not so clean, more textured PC look. Um, but I've pre-recorded a clip, so check out this clip of blow drying and brushing. And we'll see you back here in a second. All right, so I'm hydrated. I've got the leave-in conditioner in, I've got the hair serum in. I'm gonna be using this uh, Revlon Turbo, uh, which has got uh, hot, warm, cool settings. I'm gonna be sticking to the cool setting uh, and I'll put it on high, put it on high. Um, and I'm just going to be kind of like, you know, keeping a, a decent distance, maybe eight inches or so. Yeah. Six, eight inches or so on cool. And, uh, it's got this turbo button too. I may, uh, utilize as well. So, uh, let's do it. You kind of want to break up the, uh, the hair strands that are clumped together with your fingers. few hairs came out you know it's normal um so you could stop here i mean this is pretty fucking nice you can you can stop right here i mean this looks great but uh i am going to brush it out and uh yeah if you're uh if you're a curly hair guy you may want to skip the brush just kind of finger comb it like i'm doing right now if you got curly hair so yeah i'm just gonna give it a you know quick detangle with my fingers and then pick up the brush got a relatively clean brush here i cleaned it last week if you're looking on how to clean your hairbrush uh we have another blog post called how to clean your hairbrush so check out the blog .us, and search how to clean your hairbrush for a very thorough tutorial on how to how to keep these things spotless all right first thing start from the bottom you don't want to start up here because if you got tangles you start up here you just cinch all those tangles down so i always kind of split my hair on either side and uh start from the from the ends here and I start oops, <laughs> detangling from the bottom gently and then work my way up really nice and easy and uh, yeah just nice and gentle easy strokes boom, boom again start from the bottom detangle the ends then move to the mid lengths and you can hit the scalp and come down Hit the back side and oh, give it one good full length brush here and we're good all right so there you go there's the uh, the blow dried look uh, blow dried and brushed uh, all right well now let's uh time work back to the future Check out how to use sea salt spray. All right, so if you stuck with us this far, we are moving on to sea salt spray. 
another product from us here at the long hair. So uh, this is gonna really help the, the hair cling to itself. The salt granules will help it kind of, you know, bunch together a little bit. And we've got that base layer of hydration down. Uh, so if you're worried about, you know, sea salt spray drying out your hair, first of all, don't use this stuff every day. Don't use it, I would say, more than twice a week. And make sure that you're washing it out, you know, when you're done. When, when you've achieved the look, you've gone out to the event, you've looked your best, whatever, go home and take a shower. Uh, sea salt spray can dry out your hair if you use it improperly. So what I'm going to do is start with one side and I'm going to bring all my hair over this side and grab a good even layer down this side of my hair and then I'm gonna flip to the other side do the same thing make sure I'm hitting the back too you know come down the sides boom I'm gonna get the inside I'm gonna come over and do the inside of this side too because why not and then I'm gonna let it fall on either side of my head and get the top Nice healthy amount here. Just, just get it all. All right, we're solid there. So now what I do is, you know, you can let this air dry as it is. We can go do the bunch and scrunch move again. This is totally fine air drying from here great and you can just scrunch up on either side what I like to do after a good scrunch is I will gently very very gently tie it up on top of my head similar to how we do the conditioner make sure I got it all this time um, just very gently twist it up. Your hair is um, your hair is weaker when it's wet, so you're going to want to be very gentle here. Don't be too aggressive with it. You know, get a nice twist in, nice gentle twist. Put it right up there on the top. Just if your hair is thick enough, you can let it a hair tie just one wrap sit right here. But what I'll do is I'll just I'll just a gentle second loop and it's very loose it's very loose you want to be gentle with white hair and I'm gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes you know I'll go like make my coffee uh, do some work whatever uh, and then I'll pull it out after 10 minutes and it will look as if I just came from an all-day beach bonfire um, so we're gonna let this sit and we'll come back and conclude this video and you know we'll give you guys some takeaways and then you guys can go and, and take this and do with it what you will. All right, so it has been about 15 minutes since I've had this up. Went and had a little snack. Uh, so now I'm gonna gently pull this hair out of the tie. And a, a, a tip, um, if you're pulling your hair out of a, of a bun or something like that, or a low ball, high ball, um, Pulling the hair tie can really pull a lot of hairs out from the scalp, so I like to, you know, gently kind of pull the hair itself, like untwist it, you know, from inside the hair tie. And then, you know, once you get the, the length out, boom, you know, you just slide that hair tie off. It's better than just yanking off a, a bunch of hair with your hair tie. So that is about 15 minutes of dry time. Woo. And I will continue to let this air dry. Um, and as it as it air dries, uh, the the moisture you know gets taken out of the hair. It gets taken out of the sea salt spray, and the hair will kind of start to shrink up a little bit. And that's what's going to really give it those waves. And the curly haired guys or the wavy haired guys, if you guys use the sea salt spray, you're going to see those waves enhanced, maybe even turn into some curls. Uh, you're going to love it. I highly recommend it. Um, so for the, the last bit of um, uh, my routine is trimming. So I trim 
about, I would, if I'm being honest with myself, about every year, uh, my hairstylist would probably tell you I'm lying. Uh, maybe, maybe I go a little longer. Um, but uh, every six months to a year is a, a good mark to hit. So you'll notice, uh, you know, maybe your hair is like really damaged on the ends and you feel like your hair is just not growing. Like you've you hit the nips, you can't get any farther. And you're like, what the heck is going on? And you're afraid to cut it. Dude, go get a trim. You probably have a ton of split ends. And it's not that your hair has stopped growing from the scalp. Your hair is continuing to grow, but you're breaking off hairs at the ends. So go get a trim, you know, just a little bit. Say, hey, you know, go tell your stylist or salon professional, uh, hey, I just I just want to trim. I'm trying to grow it long. Maybe I'm trying, maybe you're trying to donate it. Um, and they'll hook you up. So that's, that's kind of the last universal truth um, to hair care. And um, yeah, if you're a veteran long hair, drop some, uh, drop some love in the comments and uh, share your hair care routine. And if you've used some of these products, some of our products, let us know what you think uh, in the comments below. Let us know how you incorporate them into your routine. When do you use it? Do you use the hair serum and leave-in? Do you do one before the other? Do you skip you know, the condition? Uh, let us know. And I uh, hope this was helpful. Hope uh, you can take some of these uh, foundational truths, um, you know, detangling, uh, washing, hydrating, uh, and trimming, and um, you know, incorporate them as you see fit into your into your own routine. And uh, until next time, I'm Elefante, and I'm signing off. See you.